a particle P of mass four kilograms is at rest at the point A on a smooth horizontal plane. At time t equals zero, two forces, F1, which is four I minus J newtons, and F2, lambda plus mu, lambda I plus J, mu J newtons, where lambda and mu are constants are applied to P, given that P moves in the direction of the vector 3i plus j, show that lambda minus 3 mu plus 7 equals 0. So these two forces added together, their resultant force must be in the direction of 3i plus j. So I'm going to write these as columns. I'm going to have 4 minus 1 plus lambda mu and that's some multiple k times let me use x x times uh, 3 1 so then we can say the top line is 4 plus lambda is equal to 3x and the bottom line, negative 1 plus mu equals x. So now I just want to eliminate x from this. So I'll divide my 4 plus lambda by 3. So they're both equal to x. And now I have 4 plus lambda over 3 equals negative 1 plus mu. Because they're both equal to x, that means they're equal to each other. Then I'll multiply by 3. 4 plus lambda is negative 3 plus 3 mu. And I'm almost there. I just need to get everything over to the left side. So I'll have lambda. No, yep, lambda minus 3 mu plus 7 equals 0. That's what we wanted. At time t equals 4 seconds, p passes through the point b. Given lambda is 2, so lambda is 2, that means we know what mu is as well. Find the length ab, so find the distance it's travelled in the first 4 seconds. So lambda is 2. So we'll have 2 minus 3 mu plus 7 equals 0. So we've got 9 minus 3 mu is 0. Mu must be 3. So now we know the resultant force. So the overall force, so F, the force is... 4 plus lambda, so resultant force, 4 plus lambda, which is 4 plus 2, which is 6i, and we've got negative 1 plus mu, negative 1 plus 3 is 2, so 6i plus 2j. That's the force that's acting on the particle. We need to know the distance. So we can do SUVAT. We can use the force to find A, so F equals MA. So 6i plus 2j equals 4A. So A is... A quarter of this, so 3 over 2i, plus a half j. So that's the acceleration. We need to know the distance, the displacement. The initial velocity is 0. We know the acceleration is 3 over 2i, plus a half j. And we know the time is 4 seconds. So S equals UT plus half AT squared. 
So zero times four is zero plus half a t squared. So 16 halved is 8. 8 times 1 and a half is 12. And 8 halves are 4. So it's moved 12 by plus 4j. We want the length. So let's use Pythagoras. That's the square root of 12 squared plus 4 squared. which is 4 root 10 meters.